Hello and welcome to Catherine's Garden of LWS. This is my late spring May garden. My late May garden is experiencing a special transitional time. Shades of purple dominate the front garden. It has just received a makeover. The tulip leaves have been removed and fresh mulch grace the pathways. A layer of compost has been placed in the vegetable and flower bed. The dominant color of purple with the perennial bachelor buttons are taking the center stage. In the back bed, the purple rhododendron is marrying well with the lilac blooms. White pansies and purple and yellow violas add color to the garden. If you look, you can see them shimmering in the light. As we head towards the back border, we can see that there's a fresh layer of mulch giving us a place to walk. And then looking at the combination of colors of purple, the shades of lavender and light lilac, and the rhododendron here is still opening up and showing us the different shades. It marries very well with the lilac bush. The lilac bush is in full bloom. Its intense fragrance and beautiful blooms fill the front border. These are the dwarfed variety lilac bushes. And it's actually two bushes together and they've merged very well. The garden vegetables of eggplants, okra, cucumbers, cleomies, cosmos, purple perella, tomato plants, butternut squash fill the area. As we continue down the border, we can see that the roses are setting up to get ready to bloom. But the star of the border is the purple sensation allium. These allium bulbs just are so beautiful as they are round and they have different shades of purple. Look here, you can see that the deep purple to the very light purple and then the perennial geranium giving such great shots of color. But what is spectacular about this border are the different shades of green and leaf shapes. That is what is holding up the very end here. And I can't wait to see what will bloom next. But in the meantime, we are enjoying the shades of purple in the garden. As we enter the back of the garden, I just marvel at looking at these cabbage leaves. I'm so impressed with how they are looking so stately and upright. They are ready to do their thing, along with the celery, the peppers, and the flowering annuals that fill this bed. I am just excited about this change because I've never planted food in this bed before, but I know that they're going to just be great. Glowing back in the back border 
amongst all this green are these purple blooms of the rhododendron. I am so impressed with this uh, plant, this shrub, and it's just so sparkly and glowy and adding great purple color to the back border. As the garden continues to change, I'm looking forward to other flowers and colors to pop up. So stay tuned with me as we go through the changes of spring into summer. The roses will definitely be here next month. So stay with us and I know that you are going to enjoy the summer flavor. Please subscribe to Catherine's Garden and thank you so much for watching. Be blessed. Bye.